I have a feeling this is going to be humbling. <laughs> Hi, my name is Neve Atkins, and these are all the people, uh, although some of them are not even human, that people say that I look like. So even without asking, I often have people just say, hey, you look like fucking Sid the Sloth, and I'm like, great. For the most part, I love being online. Things like that always make me laugh. And so this time I decided to ask, I put out a little question sticker on my Instagram story, and I was like, have at. Tell me who I resemble. Offend me. And so today, I'm gonna react to the answers from that question that I may soon regret asking. Let's go. Oh God, excuse me. Bless me. Okay, let's go internet. Let's see what you have to say. Okay, first up, we have Persephone from Hades Game, which I don't hate, not one bit. Oh hell. Yeah, I like this so much. I'm just gonna let you know, not only is this for my personal entertainment to make me laugh, this is also intense research for what my next Halloween costume should be. Okay, cool, lots of stuff that I have never heard of before. We have Brant from Masters of Death. And I think I know why this is. This is because I posted, I still have it, it's probably so fucking rotten by now. I posted on my Instagram some pictures of me holding a golden apple, painted golden apple, definitely still sitting there and very rotten. I'm gonna get it. Oh my God, it's soft. Ha! This is why! <laughs> I love to read and I'm currently on a real Greek mythology retelling kick. And you know, my Greek mythology girlies, ooh, it's so soft. Get it. I will geek out about that some other time, but I'm glad that doing that, that posting those pictures led me to Brand from Masters of Death. Cause you know what? I am giving him. Look, I've never actually entered the Sailor Moon universe. Um, I'm a little bit upset that the one that looks like me is, you know, that her name is like the ass planet, Sailor Uranus. Uranus. Don't you know my ass is famous? Mars. Shut up. But she is so cute and I would absolutely purchase this costume to wear. Something about me, uh, if I'm going out, especially on Halloween, it is like in Mean Girls. I'm like, I'm gonna dress skimpily. Is skimpily even a word? Probably not. Skimpy. Okay, I have gotten this one for so fucking long and it makes me laugh every time, but also please stop saying that I look like Agent Smith. Please, I don't think I look like this guy. Do I look like this guy? You can be honest with me. That's what this is for. What the fuck? Does that look like me? Stop. His teeth kind of do look like mine. He's like, oh shit. And in that same vein, God, what was his name? We got Elrond from Lord of the Rings. You know, every girl just wants to be Liv Tyler, but some of us are just fucking Elrond. Should I get a circlet? Little. Fuck, shit, that one is not way off base. Hate that. We got a lot of anime answers, which I'm very happy about because everybody in anime is drawn to be so hot. And someone said this guy. Sorry if I fuck up the name, Kunikita from Stray Dogs or from Bungo, Bungo, Bungo? Bungo Stray Dogs. Oh shit, I would wear that. I I would dress like him. Oh my God, he's cunty. Look how he's looking over his shoulder. Oh, he's packing though. That would be me, except um, I'd be holding a purse full of trash that I am refusing to throw out for no good reason. That would just be my purse full of fucking five gum wrappers. I think me cutting my hair off inspired a lot more people to go, hey, you look like this man. <laughs> oh. You know, I actually had one of my friends look at the answers to the Instagram question and pull up all these tabs for me so that I could actually react. And I've never seen this one before and I love it. We have Sergeant Calhoun from Wreck-It Ralph. She's so hot. Oh my God. I would let her absolutely kill me. I don't know how else to say that. She could definitely kick my ass and also end my life. <laughs> no! Yo! Who in the fuck, who is this even? Devin Sawa? Is that how you say your name, Devin? I don't even care, cause I 
don't want to look like you. I don't look like this guy. You're free to disagree with me and we can have it out in the comments if you really want to, but I will fight you over this one. I don't think I look like Devin. Also, I kind of hate the name Devin on boys because there was a kid in my class who was mean to me and his name was Devin. It's crazy how people can just like fuck you up on a name just by being a dick. I have gotten this one so much. And you know what? It will never stop being true. We have Prince Charming from Shrek. Realistically, he could have been my haircut inspiration. If you look at how I do my, oh no, I'm Prince Charming and he sucks. But you know what? His hair, pretty good. You know what sucks is even if I grew my hair down to my fucking ass, um, I would still look like him. I think I would still be very Prince Charming in spirit. We have Meredith Blake from The Parent Trap and I love getting this one. I've actually gotten this one a bunch. And I really hope it's not because I look mean or menacing. She's hot, but she is menacing in the eyes. You know what? Maybe I am too. Maybe. Maybe I just have that kind of face that would be mean to your children. I would absolutely go as her for Halloween and I would pick on any redhead I saw. There's something about a mean woman in red lipstick that, I don't know, does it for me. Like obviously don't marry someone and then bully their literal 11 year olds, but you're still hot. Ooh, we got Lola from Shock Tale, which huge compliment, even though I don't think I look like her at all. I'm seeing the pattern of people sending me just creatures or people that also have eyes that are in two different postcodes. But I don't possess lips like that or that kind of like just unbridled sexiness. But the wide-eyed gaze we share. Who didn't have a crush on Lola? You're lying if you say no. Definitely had a crush on that fish. Okay, I get this one so often. We had an absurd amount of people say that I look like Sasha Luss. She plays Anna in that movie where she's like, I I've never seen it, so I guess She's packing too, so I guess she's, um, you know, a badass. Not only have I gotten this one a bunch, one time, this was years ago, my dad uh, fully mistook a picture of her for me and proceeded to be very mad at me, and here's why. I grew up on the back of my dad's motorbike. My dad loves motorbikes, but he's also very much like, hey, you are never allowed to go on the back of anyone else's motorbike because they're so dangerous. Very hypocritical. Also, I understand big time because they are very dangerous and um, you know, he gives a shit whether I live or die, which is cool. But somebody sent this photo of Sasha Lewis with this motorbike helmet on to my dad because they thought it was me. My dad sent it to me and pretty much threatened to come and get me from New York. I had just moved, I was 19, living by myself for the first time in a new country and he was so upset. <laughs> he fully thought that was me. And look, I get it from this picture, but also dad, I'm your child. <laughs> I'm your kid. Just look at the picture for two seconds longer before you pop off and threaten to bring me home from New York. Nine years later, I'm still here and I still have to follow my dad's rules. Sometimes. Hey! I, oh, that was so loud, I'm so sorry. I love this one. We have Clover from Totally Spies. I love this one. She was that bitch. Wow, and I am that gremlin. I want her outfit. I wanna know what hair serum or oil she uses to get that glow. No, I won't acknowledge that she's a cartoon. She is real to me. And I want that outfit. Oh my God, I want that outfit. I'm gonna get that. Also, as we go along, please weigh in because we are racking up options for Halloween or whatever costume party comes my way. And I want feedback. I want votes. I'm feeling really bad about saying I was gonna be humbled because so far I've only had insanely big compliments and this might be the biggest one yet. We got a lot of Hunter Schaefer. I love Hunter Schaefer. I love, 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 love Hunter Schaefer. She is so beautiful and she seems so sweet. And I know that I'm sounding very much like I have a parasocial relationship with Hunter Schaefer. And you know what? Maybe I do. She just seems like a really nice person. She looks like an alien princess. And I love this comparison, even though I think she's like otherworldly beautiful and no one looks like her. Wow. Okay, time to stop looking at every photo online of Hunter Schaefer and go to the next one. Who's next? Oh, we got Gwen Stacy cartoon. Oh, this is a strong contender for Halloween. Oh, she's so cute. Someone tell me right now not to shave the side of my head. I'm just a girl. 
You can't show me pictures of Gwen Stacy and expect me not to want to go right into my bathroom and use the same razor I use on my legs and pits and other places on the side of my head. I won't do it, that would be impulsive. I gotta check my impulse control sometimes because the way that I'll just see something and be like, oh, I could do that. I could do that right now. I love this one. Someone said Captain Amelia from Treasure Planet. That is one of my favorite movies of all time. And she is sexy. Where do they get off making cartoons so hot? Okay, I get this one a lot and I kind of get it. I think I'm like a five-year-old girl in the way that if someone has a different color hair to me, I don't see it. Like, you know how when you were a kid, like my sister's brunette, I was like, you're Belle and I'm Aurora. You are Anna and I am Elsa. And this is why and it's cool that the world is like making an effort in this way, seemingly. Make princesses that all five-year-olds can look at and be like, that's me. Just fucking do it. So I don't know if I look like Tokyo from Money Heist. What do we think? Maybe if I put a wig on. Everybody's packing. Y'all think I look deadly. <laughs> okay, we got She-Ra, another hot lady with a sword. You know I love a hot lady with a sword. I love a hot lady with weaponry, especially if it has a gem in it. Mine has a gem in it. I'm five. I could stop right here and be happy because we got Aelin Galathinius. Aelin? Aelin is my favorite fantasy character ever. I love her. I love the Throne of Glass books. I wanna be Aelin so bad. Hey, we got Jim Hawkins, which makes sense to me and I would like to wear this as a Halloween costume. I already have his outfit. I just have to get the little braided rat tail and I could do this. And I love it. If you'd have told me as a kid, hey, one day people are gonna say you look like Jim Hawkins, I'd be like, cool, so I turn out hot? Childhood crush, for real. Uh, him and the live action Peter Pan. Oh my God, I wanted a kiss from the live action Peter Pan so bad. I was probably like seven, kissing my hand, like what if this was the live action Peter Pan? I absolutely should have seen this one coming. I got Draco Malfoy. Scared Potter, scared Potter. I have a Harry Potter wand that I'm too lazy to go and dig up right now. Also, if you feel like taking a guess, please let me know in the comments, whose wand do you think I purchased? I low key do look like Draco Malfoy though when I'm getting out of the shower, like when I wash my hair and it's all like back, it's so Draco Malfoy. Fuck. <laughs> oh no, the annoying orange. <laughs> Fuck, those could be my teeth and my eyes. Fuck. Shit, I don't like that. He's a little creepy. Oh my God, what is that? Ew! Prince James? What are you even from, Prince James? Sophia the First? Y'all, do I look like that? Do I look like that? A little bit. Fuck, it's how I'm doing the front of my hair. Okay, up next we got Felix from Miraculous. I don't know what that is, but I do look like this when I'm pissed. Oh yeah, that is absolutely me in a bad mood. I'm actually gonna save that as a reaction meme to send to my friends. One thing about me is I'm gonna be saving anything I could possibly use in the group chat to my phone and I'm organizing it into my specific reaction meme album immediately. Very organized about my response memes. This is pretty good. I'm so happy someone said this. Someone said Lilu from The Fifth Element. I have no idea where it went. It probably got lost in a move. I used to own the bandage suit that she wears. See, now I want orange hair. Sherry Birkin, Resident Evil. It's crazy how you can just have short blonde hair and the range can be Draco Malfoy to Sherry Birkin. <sighs> I get this one a lot. I've gotten this one to my face. And you know what? It's funny every time because it is a little bit true. It's Sid from Ice Age. I do look like Sid. It's the eyes in different postcodes thing. Look. You're not wrong and I'm not offended. I think that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> we are re-entering the childhood crush arena with Milo James Thatch. That's such a hot one. I would also be him for Halloween. Could I be slutty Milo for Halloween? Milo with his ass out. We got Rapunzel with short hair. Rapunzel's just so cute. I love her. She's definitely an ENFP. I know an ENFP when I see one. Rapunzel, actually, fuck it. I'm gonna Google it now. Rapunzel. Myers Briggs. Yes! Rapunzel from Tangled is most certainly an ENFP. That's my hidden party talent, is I can guess your Myers Briggs. Talk to me for five minutes. I might sneak a question in there. I might ask you if you make your bed or if you care about being on time, but 
I will get it right. Fuck yeah. I know an ENFP when I see one. I collect ENFPs like they're infinity stones. And I absolutely don't know what infinity stones are, so that's good. Okay, we straight up just got an avatar. And I actually used to get this a lot because the movie came out when I was a kid. And then I had a bunch of people say this to me. And again, it's just about having very far apart eyes. And you know, to be so honest, that's always a feature of mine that I've liked about myself. And it's funny when people point it out in a kind of negative way that I'm so impervious to it. I'm like, I like this. I like looking like a fucking avatar and also Sid the Sloth. I look so weird with my eyes closer together. Let's see. But I'm absolutely never gonna be anything from Avatar for Halloween because I cannot stand the feeling of face paint. So I'm not gonna be blue all over my entire body. Absolutely not. We got James Dean and at this point, I think you're just sending me men who have short hair because I don't look like him. Case closed. Fuck you. No. I got Steve Buscemi. I don't even know if I'm saying his name right. Steve Buscemi. Please. I know I said that this was entertaining for me and that it was funny to me. I need everybody to go and tell me that I don't look like Steve Buscemi right now. No offense, Steve. I just really don't want to look like you, which is very offensive, but it's my truth. Fuck off. I think this one is so funny. Someone just said, when SpongeBob turns normal. Fuck me. I do kind of look just like that. That's me. Shit. Please. Like, that's kind of me. And I'm kind of okay with it. Only kind of though. I got just straight up blonde Alice Cullen, which was always the goal. Oh, are you team Jacob, team Ev? No, I'm team Alice. I wanted to be Alice Cullen so bad, but I couldn't be because by sister law, my sister's brunette, she was Alice Cullen and I had to be Rosalie. Thank you to whoever said that. It kind of undid the Steve Buscemi thing for like a second. What? No, no. No, no. Carrie Els? Carrie Il Elwes. Car I'm, ne I'm not gonna get it right. I'm not gonna get it right. And I don't care to get it right because I don't care to look like this guy. That's me if my eyes were closer together. <laughs> That's me if my eyes were in the same postcode. I just look like every blonde man you've ever seen, apparently. We got young Leonardo DiCaprio, which actually was my haircut inspiration. My dad was like, what do you want? And I just made him watch Titanic. Oh my God, I was hoping this one would come back around because someone said this to me once and I was like, I love this as a comparison. And then I, of course, forgot. We got Sifa, Belnades, Belnades, who the fuck knows? Correct me if it's important to you. If it's not, then just let me call her Sifa Belnades. From Castlevania. I love this. I love her haircut. Whatever's going on here, I'm going to try and be. Yo, no, I hate that I could actually do this for Halloween. Sue Sylvester. And that's how Sue sees it. What an actual menace of a character. If I got that red tracksuit, I'd be set. Although I could probably make Sue Sylvester slutty. I can make anything slutty if I really put my mind to it and other parts of my body. I should shut up sometimes, but here we are. Oh no, this would actually be funny, but I just don't have much interest in um, going out into the world as like anything from the Harry Potter universe anymore. We got Gilderoy Lockhart and like he sucks. So that's not even, <laughs> but it's fuck, I do look like that a little bit. And I'm gonna end it on this vague one that I have gotten for definitely over a decade. Someone just said praying mantis. Slutty praying mantis for Halloween. Dude, oh no, it's kind of... Okay, I hope you enjoyed this because that was actually fucking hilarious for me. We got some new ones, a lot of good ones, some humbling. I'm gonna think about the annoying orange and normal SpongeBob for the rest of the day, probably. I hope this was fun for you and there is always room for a part two. I love knowing what people think I look like. And I say what because half of these were not human. Let me know in the comments. And while you're down there, please like this video and subscribe. I post new videos every Wednesday. And I apparently have a really good sense of humor and very thick skin. Thank you for watching and thank you so much for telling me who you think I look like. Everyone except the person who said I look like Steve Buscemi. You have a terrible day. <laughs> okay, bye from your local Praying Mantis, slash Lord Elrond, slash Draco Malfoy, slash Annoying Orange. <laughs>